I got the script from 87 North a little over a year ago, um, and they they only said one thing. They said, it's like uh, Die Hard with Santa Claus. So hearing that is like, oh, yeah, that sounds cool, but it could also be a little too out there. But um, uh, they sent me the script, and it held, had all the action I ex expected, all the action, all the humor, all the craziness, uh, but it also had a lot of heart. And... Uh, that's what I connected to was the fact that despite all the craziness, despite all the action, it still felt like a Christmas movie. So that was the reason why I jumped on it. Yes, I knew I could do the action. I knew I could do the humor. But the challenge to me and, and what I would love to try to do was to make it a, a movie with a big heart. Because if you nail that, you can go as crazy as you want on the other, on the other stuff. Well, when we meet Santa, he's kind of, I guess, a little bit depressed, right? At least he's lost faith. He's lost faith in himself and in Christmas and in us. And he feels like it's all about presence and consumerism and we've kind of forgotten what, it, what it's all about. And which means that he's, he's lost. Um, and um, he goes on the journey of delivering the presents on Christmas Eve and he's kind of half-assing it in a way. He's kind of just do, going through the motions and he stumbles across this house uh, that is, on the same night, taken over by terrorists. And it's basically a, 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 the house of a family like uh, the family in, in uh, succession. It's, it's a bunch of rich people. Uh, but there's a little girl in there that still believes in Christmas, that still believes in Santa. And as the terrorist takes over, um, Santa kind of connects with his little girl and decides to help her. And it's to her and her steadfast belief in him and in Christmas that he kind of finds himself. And also by kicking ass, of course, and taking on the mercenaries and discovering another part of himself that I won't spoil, but kind of tying into his backstory of who he once was and why he can kick ass in the first place. But it really is this little girl and her belief in him and in Christmas that reinvigorates Santa and, and brings him back to his old self. What can Santa do? What have we seen him do in other movies or his mythology? And like, how can, we, how can we embrace all of that but in new and fun ways? And obviously, a big thing is the nice and naughty list, which we use in a big way. And, and Santa uses this as a tool to not only see who's good, but also basically count the bad guys around him um, and how many he has left. He has his bag, his endless uh, gift bag that he uses uh, in, in the Frosty Fight especially. Um, he can go uh, up to the chimney by touching his nose. Dave just loves action and he loves humor and he, same as me. And so we have a lot of fun not only coming up with the action and the action set piece, uh, but also adding humor to it and always having fun with it and always try to surprise the audience, making set pieces within the, the, the set piece. Um, so yeah, no, it, it, it was truly a blast. Um, and. And seeing them work is always a joy. I'm extremely proud of Violet Knight, and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that we managed to preserve what we talked about from day one, which is the heart and the, and the soul of the movie, and making it feel like a Christmas movie. And that was a goal of ours, actually, when we discussed it. Like, we want this to be the type of film that after you've seen all the classical Christmas movies and the youngest kids have gone to bed, then you put on Violet Knight, and you have some fun.